Chapter 23, the book of Proverbs, chapter 23. When you sit down to eat with a ruler, look carefully at what is before you and put a knife to your throat if you are a man given to appetite. Do not desire his dainties, for they are deceitful food. Do not labor to be rich. Cease from your own wisdom. Will you set your eyes upon that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly away like an eagle toward the heavens. Do not eat the bread of him who has an evil eye. Neither desire his dainty foods. For as he thinks in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, he says to you. But his heart is not filled with you. The peace which you have eaten you shall vomit up and lose your sweet words. Do not speak in the ears of a fool, for he will despise the wisdom of your words. Do not remove the old landmarks, and do not enter into the fields of the fatherless. For their Redeemer is mighty. He shall plead their cause with you. Apply your heart to instruction and your ears to the words of knowledge. Do not withhold correction from the child, for if you beat him with a rod, he shall not die. You shall beat him with a rod and shall deliver his soul from hell. My son, if your heart is wise, my heart shall rejoice, even mine. Yea, my heart shall rejoice when your lips speak right things. Do not let your heart envy sinners, but be in the fear of the Lord all the day long. For surely there is an end, and your hope shall not be cut off. My son, hear and be wise, and guide your heart in the way. Do not be among those who drink much wine, among those who eat too much. For the drunkard and the glutton shall come to poverty, and sleepiness shall clothe a man with rags. Listen to your father who fathered you, and do not despise your mother when she is old. Buy the truth, and sell it not, also wisdom and instruction and understanding. The father of the righteous shall greatly rejoice, and he who fathers a wise child shall have joy from him. Your father and your mother shall be glad, and she who bore you shall rejoice. My son, give me your heart, and let your eyes watch my ways. For a harlot is a deep ditch, and a strange woman is a narrow pit. She also lies in wait for a prey, and increases the transgressors among men. Who has woe, and who has sorrow? Who has fighting? Who has babbling? Who has wounds without cause? Who has redness of eyes? Those who stay long at the wine, those who go to seek mixed wine. Do not look upon the wine when it is red, when it gives its color in the cup when it goes down smoothly. At the last it bites like an asp and stings like an adder. Your eyes shall look upon strange women, and your hearts shall speak perverse things. Yes, you shall be as he who lies down in the middle of the sea, as he who lies upon the top of a mast. You shall say, They struck me, I was not sick, they have beaten me, I did not feel it. When I awake I will go after it again.